Uh, here we go. How's it going, man? Doing great. Awesome. I, want, I, want, I wanted to thank you for taking time to speak with me today. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no worries. And I wanted to ask you, how was the recording process for Earth Torn? Um, <clears throat> I, I, uh, well, we generally put together like a concept album. So, uh, once we have like a, a concrete, um, storyline, right. I, I feel like concept albums are like easier to write instead of 10 songs and 10 different stories. I don't have that many stories in my head, you know? So each part of the, each song is a part of the story. So um, the recording process is, is generally s simple. Basically, uh, I write all the guitars, the keyboards and the lyrics, and I do the vocals. And, um, and then I, I send tracks to my drummer and then he lays down his tracks and then we send them over to the bass player and then he lays down his tracks and so on and so forth. So, um, I also wanted to ask you, it fell from the sky. Number one is a great song. I love the way, especially the harsh and clean vocals interact with each other in the song. Yeah. And I wanted to know, would you say that song is indicative, indicative of the soundscape of the album? That song? Yes. You're going to, you're going to be very, very, I mean, you, did you hear, you heard the entire album, right? No. no, I have not. I've only heard the "It Fell from the Sky" so far. Okay, you're gonna hear very, very different songs. You can there's there's parts of um, there's actually ambient parts in this album. You know, there's a lot of breakdowns. There's a lot of clean guitars. There, there's a ballad on the album. So there's like only like two or three like you know fast paced songs. A lot of it's doom. Um, um, a lot of it is traditional heavy metal, and a lot of it is kind of uh, mellow. So, I mean, there's a big mix. So, it, um, I don't want I didn't want every song to sound the same. And when you have a concept album, you have to have um, a song to fit the mood of of each part of the story. So, it's kind of like a science fiction dark side of the moon, <laughs> the album, you know. And I wanted to ask you also. Um... Can we expect another single before the album release? Two more. Oh, excellent. So, yeah, so we got one coming, I think, April 22nd. Um, that one is called Weight of Two Worlds, and there's going to be a lyric video for that. And then I think we have one coming March 20th. or March. No, no, I think maybe on release day, March 20th, and that will be a full music video um, for... Uh, the song Angel of Doom. And uh, I also want to ask you, is there a tour in the works? Um, currently, no. There's no tour in the works. We would, we would love to get everything, everybody together for to play a couple of local shows and everything like that. But right now, you know, there's a couple of people out of state. So, <laughs> so you know, it is what it is. But um, definitely would love to to hit the stage you know and I, i've been kind of rehearsing all the songs you know going back and uh especially for, for the music video i kind of totally forgot how to play any of the songs you know so in order to do a music video you got to really nail the song so i've been i've been kind of working on this material from the album I also uh, when i got this got the single I was able to see the album cover. The album artwork is absolutely amazing. Could you speak of the album artwork and the artist that was involved? The artist is Alex from Project Mayhem Design. He's uh, uh, over in Russia, and um, and he's easy to work with. You just tell him what you want, what the album is about, some lyrics, and he puts it together. I mean, he's if you. I'm, I'll send you the link to his Instagram and, and Facebook. He hasn't been really posting much these days, and and he can't receive any payments uh, due to what's going on in Russia right now. So, uh, so, so everything is kind of a standstill for him. But he still takes on new clients and stuff like that. And he's 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 working on artwork, but um, you know, taking I IOUs as well <laughs> from people, you know. Until they get a, a money uh, 
transfer situation going on over there. But uh, amazing artist. Like when when you t- check out his stuff, you're gonna be blown away. Yeah, and uh, you know it's a shame all this stuff that is going on. Um, times are yeah. really hard. And I'm sure it makes uh, planning and everything that's involved in touring just crazy. Yeah, and, and you know it's crazy. I mean, this album is totally reflecting what's going on right now and and um and it's like bittersweet because it's perfect timing for the album but also you know what's going on on this planet so right um can you uh give me an overlying theme of the album um okay well basically it's it's kind of like about trials of life you know uh, human growth, empathy, uh, um, war, um, uh, what the human race is doing to the environment, but kind of like wrapped in like a science fiction subplot where an alien from another planet is sent to Earth, right, on a mission to analyze us, analyze our history, and to eventually deplete the human race of our natural resources, right? So he's sent to earth disguised as one of us and he washes ashore and he's learning about all our uh, you know that our wars and and our bloody history and <clears throat> he eventually meets a woman and so now he's torn between carrying out his mission and his selfishness of of falling in love and 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 the more he goes on he's he's becoming more and more human, you know, and he's becoming part of this flesh. And so, you know, he learns about death. He learns about war, the trials of human, human race. And then, and then she gets sick and dies. And so now he, now he learned about love and loss. And so then he kind of realizes that there is some good on this planet. There is some, um, uh, uh, because there's, other people that have love in them and he experienced that so he he lies to his home planet and tells his home planet there's nothing to be had here and the human race is just gonna uh die on its own and there's nothing to you know suck from the earth so i'm coming home you know i wanted to ask you um you're in jersey correct yeah, Sayreville, New Jersey, John bon, uh, bon Jovi town. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, um, if I come to Jersey, what's the best food for me to try? Oh, uh, uh, Chinese food, uh, pizza. I mean, where uh, for a long time, Jersey didn't have that great pizza, but not New York. Like New York, you got great pizza, you know? But now Jersey's, you know, right next door to New York and, and they, we have really good pizza, you know, now, uh, but you have everything here, you know, from Mexican, Cuban, we're really, really good food in New Jersey. Yeah. Same here in Ohio. We have really good, uh, food here. Um, unfortunately we have the rock and roll hall of fame, which, um, that's a whole nother topic. I'm disgusted with it and what they've done. with it. You're in, oh, wait, where are you at, located at? Ohio. Isn't it like um, uh, a, uh, something called the Black Circle Pizzeria? Uh, I don't know. Because when I, I was traveling to Chicago, my old band, Grace Guys Fallen, uh, <laughs> we found it funny, like, because we're a metal band, we, we see like this pizzeria called Black Circle Pizza, and we thought it was funny. So I, I just wanted to know if it was still around. But anyway, yeah. And I want to ask you, if you could pick your proudest moment as an artist, what would you say that would be? Uh, releasing Earth Torn. I mean, every album I put out is 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 kind of like a, a a baby. You know what I'm saying? When 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 a baby's born, it's like, oh, this is my 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 proudest moment. You know, so yeah. And uh, along the way, uh, what would you say is the best advice that's been given to you? Um, it's not been given to me, but I read a quote from Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree and, uh, Blackfield. Familiar with Stephen Wilson? Mm -hmm. 
he and I can't find this quote any anywhere, but he said it. He said that you'll probably never make it in the music world. It's one in a million. Like it's it's like the more of a chance of getting hit by lightning. All right, but maybe possibly twenty albums and twenty years later, you may accidentally make it. Just do it for fun, and do it because you enjoy it. But don't keep your hopes up, and you won't be disappointed. Yeah, and I think uh, that's very true. And uh, also, you know, I think it's very important for artists to, you know, uh, stay true to what they do. Um, someone out there is going to salute that flag when you put it on a pole. You may not know who it is, but someone's Absolutely. there. And uh, if this song's indicative of this album, the album's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, you know what? So. Right, right after that song, it goes into a doom track. Like, like it's slower, but it's more of a marching, you know. And then it splits, um, and then it turns into like a dark ballad. Really weird. But like the next song, at right after that, it's called "The March to Oblivion." Um, but you'll see how how the sound changes, you know, and and it's just not. Doesn't sound like the same song on every track, you know. So, and putting that together, how hard is the process, uh, the studio process, to get those sounds together? It's it's more about writing riffs, um, and putting them putting them together. Like, um, <clears throat> I write a lot of lot of guitar stuff, and then. I can't come up with like a guitar riff to come up afterwards. Then I'll look to a song that I was working on and a guitar riff that's out of place might work on this one. So I'll just carry it over and, and, and just piecing it together, you know, and then, and then you have the keyboard element, the keyboards where, you know, I have a lot of tools at my, my, uh, at my, dis at my disposal, you know, where I can, I, if I'm tired of, playing heavy guitars i could just break down and have a piano medley going on for for two minutes you know or something like that so um it's a fun process it's a long process because i'm writing and recording at the same time so it's it, it's not like um writing and then going into the studio and banging banging it out uh, for in a month you know Mm -hmm. This is this is doing guitars is like a six to seven month process because I'm writing at the same time sure. as I'm recording. I'm writing it and recording at the same time. You know, I don't have to book a studio to uh, to record. You know, so I, I I have I have the time and the leisure. You know, and I wanted to ask you, uh, how is the club scene there? Good. We have, um, well, close by me where I live, uh, we got the Starland Ballroom, right? And, you know, we got some metal bands that come through there. I saw Cradle of Filth there a few years back. Uh, Amorphous just came through maybe like two years ago. Um, more in New York, like in Brooklyn, we have the St. Vitus Bar, which is a, like, that's become like the new like CBGBs of, of, of New York, you know? Um, the gutter bowl, I think, is another one. Um, Williamsburg, Brooklyn has has like a good three um, heavy metal spots to watch heavy metal bands. Uh, and in in the city, Manhattan, we have Terminal Five. You know, so yeah, no, we got we got we got some good venues that you know made it through the pandemic too. So yeah, that's one thing I hit Ohio really bad in my area. Quite a few clubs had to shut down just because the money wasn't coming in couldn't survive man yeah and i will also want to ask you in your spare time when you do have it uh, work do you have any hobbies that you're into um this is it <laughs> you know i mean i mean my I, my real job is um in nit but this is my hobby you know so and uh as far as merchandise um What's the best way to get it and how to pre-order the album? 
Okay. Uh, good, good question. If you go to the Black Lions record, uh, Black Lions records uh, Bandcamp page, right? Just go to Bandcamp.com and and uh, do a search for Black Lion, Lion Records. You can get it from there, or you could get it from a Season of Mist as well, um, which uh, has a U.S. store as well. And and Black Lions Records, they have their U.S. store as well. You get it through there as well, you know. Um, yeah basically and you know we're gonna have t-shirts as well so you know and you are taking pre-orders now right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's on pre-order over at black lions records right now so eventually uh i'll have a, a pre-order on the the drift and the black band camp page but but you know i want to give the record label uh their, their their chance to to sell it and make money you know so that's it you know and I also wanted to ask you if you could give a message to your fans, um, what message would it be and what can fans look for next? All right. Well, I, I, I hope they enjoy the album and I think, I think they're going to really, really dig it. I think it's, it's a, it's an adventure kind of, you know, and, um, they could look forward to the ne- upcoming singles, uh, weight of two worlds and, Angel of Doom and a few videos, you know, sprinkled in there. I'm going to I'm going to add some more content. You know, I, I there's an instrumental on the album that I that I did a playthrough video for, you know, so th- there's going to be that as well. So, um, yeah, we got some things coming up. And the best way uh, to search out tour dates for you, um, will that be posted to the band's site? A- absolutely. And also we have a new website. Finally, we have a website. It's driftintheblack.com. You know, I mean, I, I think band websites have been out for a while now. Like, I never really visit band websites, or I never, I don't know if that's a thing. You know, I just, you know, Facebook and Instagram. But um, <clears throat> the label uh, uh, was like, you know, you should have a website. And I'm like, eh. But now, but now the drummer, our drummer, Clement, he's a good web designer. He did the website, and now I'm proud of it. I'm happy to have it. You know, it looks great. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out for sure. Yeah. Well, I wanted to thank you for taking time to speak with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Absolutely, Robert. Yeah, likewise, and thank you for having me. And you have a great rest of your day. You too, man. Enjoy. I can't wait to... When is this going to be on Spotify? Um... It should be on within the week. It usually takes me a week. I usually do uh, one to two a day. Okay. Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. well, once once the album comes out, I hope you enjoy it, man. Oh, absolutely. I'd love to talk track by track with you. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, actually, what we're doing is, be, you just um, uh, made me remember, what we're doing is from now until the album release, we're releasing a uh, track by track analysis uh, videos. There's a uh, first episode is already out. There's going to be five episodes all, t- all together. So, oh, excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again. And I hope to talk to you again real soon. Yep. Likewise, Robert. Enjoy your weekend. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.